Allahu 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 Allah 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 Allahumma salli wa sallim ala Nabi Muhammad alayhi salam salatan tadumu wa tuhda ilay mamara al-layali wa tula dawam Allahumma salli wa salli Muhammad alayhi salam Salatan tadumu wa tuhda ilay Mamar al-layali wa tula dawam Allahumma salli wa salli Salam. Alhamdulillah that Allah Almighty He make us to reach Eid al Adha al Mubarak. MashaAllah. We are so glad that Allah Almighty He look at our face with mercy side and He make us to reach Eid al Adha al Mubarak. We are asking from Allah Almighty in these holy days, if somebody have ill people, sick people, may Allah cure them. Amen. If people they have money difficulty, may Allah release their difficulty. Amen. If some people they have job difficulty, may Allah make their job easy. Amen. If Allah Almighty, he gives some people heavy weight, and he want to be released from his heavy weight. May Allah release him from Amen. his heavy weight. Amen. If somebody have debts, may Allah release him from his debts Amen. in this holy days. Amen. And if Allah Almighty, he make his servant to have difficult life, may Allah make it easy life for his servant. Amen. This is our wish. Amen. And this is our, what is inside our heart. To be giving for all the humanity, not Murids or not Muslim or not this or not, for everybody. Amen. Either you calculate, you make calculations so big, either don't make calculation at all. <laughs> don't look for small calculation. Don't look for pennies. Don't look for cents. Look for a huge calculation. <laughs> a huge calculation is important. If you make small, small calculation, you end up either as a small shop <laughs> or you will end up with a small grocery shop or you will end up with a small restaurant in the corner of the street or you will end up with vegetable 
selling on the street. I don't say this is bad or good. No, uh, this is not the. My target is if Allah Almighty, He give you uh, things that uh, can be huge. Don't use it and make a small grocery shop. They will laugh on you. They will say, "What a calculation you are doing!" If Allah Almighty He give you a chance. To be, yes, you can be, but don't forget what you been. This is what is the condition here. Allah Almighty, if He wants you to be, be. He doesn't say to you not to be, but He said, don't forget your what you been. Don't forget your original. Don't forget from your coming. Don't forget. How you been and what you do and how you do and how whatever you do. Don't forget what to do. <laughs> also, <laughs> everything is coming together. Now I becoming po poetry, poetry, poet. poet. <laughs> I was thinking I cannot be poet, but now Maulana Sheikh he make me to be poet. <laughs> You have to understand the one speaking here, he is not speaking from his desires. He doesn't speak from his ego. He doesn't speak from himself. There is somebody. It's make him to speak and to speak haq. Haq It is not. It is haq It is haqqaneh. Yes. We don't have other things. No. We are for the haq. From the haq to the haq. Nothing can be bigger than haq. Nothing. Nobody. Not at all. This is how we are. And this is what we are for. We are not for our egoistic desires. We are not for our ego. We are not here to show ourselves that we are this or we are that. If the hack ordering you to sit here and speak, you speak. If the hack telling you you are not the place for you here to speak, you have to sit and be quiet. This is how the heart. It is not what eh, I think it is coming to my mind. It is like this. Maybe I am more expert or maybe I am more tall <laughs> or maybe I am more fat or maybe I am more bigger turban or maybe I am more bigger, longer beard. Or maybe I am elder, or maybe I am younger. Allah Almighty never looked like this. Maulana Sheikh, he never looked like this. Maulana Sheikh is all the time looking different than you. That's why you couldn't understand Maulana Sheikh. If you want to understand Maulana Sheikh, you have to look from his vision. You have to speak from his concept. And you have to love people as he loved people. Maulana Sheikh never says, even for worst enemy for him, and they've been enemy for him because he was saying, I am the Haq, I am representing the Haq. And those days, It was the most enemy time for Haq and who present Haq. Even those days, he was keeping his respect. He was keeping his tongue and he was keeping, he holding his power. This is very important. Holding his power. Understand this. He's holding his power. If he releases his power, you will see what he will do. This is Maulana Sheikh. There is no joke in Maulana Sheikh. 
not joke at all. This is, don't misestimate Mawlana Sheikh. I'm saying this because when you misestimate Mawlana Sheikh, then you will see so many, th so many things that you never wish to see. This is general for everybody, even for me. That's why I am behaving on his name and behaving of his wish and behaving as his will. Yes. Maulana Sheikh, he was Sheikh when he take ba'a from Grand Sheikh Maulana Sheikh Abdullah. He was not a murid like us. He was completed. Because Maulana Sheikh Abdullah, he say, there is three people they've been carrying the golden chain in one time. And it was Jamaluddin al Ghumuki, Sheikh Sharaf al Din, and then Maulana Sheikh Abdullah Dagestani. Three of them, they've been holding that secret. So when Maulana Sheikh Abdullah Dagestani, he was in Damascus, he was holding the golden chain in his hand. And when Maulana Sheikh Nazim, he come to his present, being sent by Rasulullah, that he have to finish his other duties. And when he come completing his Sharia, Fuqa, all this knowledge, he come to Maulana Sheikh Abdullah. And when he give bayah to Maulana Sheikh Abdullah, Maulana Sheikh Nazim, he used to say, some murids, when they take bayah from their sheikhs, everything will open. Everything will open in that moment, like me, he was saying. And then he make it quickly to not be hearing. And then he say, some murid, they spend one year with sheikh to have something opening to them. And then he say, some murid, they spend all their life. And the opening will be when Azrael salam coming to take their soul, then it will open. Some murid, they will be open in a grave. Some murid will open in Qiyama. Some murid, they come like this and they go like this. Nothing open. <laughs> Just like me. It is important to understand. So Maulana Sheikh, when he take Baya from Grand Sheikh Maulana Sheikh Abdullah, he was complete Sheikh. Nothing missing. Complete Sheikh. And Maulana Sheikh Abdullah, he say, Nazim Effendi, you will be my tank speaking everywhere. What does mean this? Can you explain to me? Can you explain what it mean to be Maulana Sheikh Abdullah Tank? Tank in Turkey is Panzer. <laughs> it is very big question. Big question mark. Hey, stupid Murids! I'm talking for the stupid one. That been spending life, spending life, wasting life for nothing with Maulana Sheikh Abdullah and Maulana Sheikh Nazim. It is important to wake up before Maulana Sheikh wake you up. It is known how the awliya wake you up. It is known. It is not a joke. I can joke, no problem. Yes. I'm easy going. Doesn't matter. Whatever you say, I'm okay. Whatever you claim, I'm okay. But with them, it's different things. If you are happy to deal with them, with me, no problem. As I said, I don't have any interest to be a sheikh, I don't have any interest 
to give my hand to be kissed or to have respect or not respect. Doesn't matter for me. If you respect me, I am very happy. If you don't respect me, I am also happy. It doesn't matter. It's, it is not a big deal for me. Alhamdulillah. I'm okay. I can, I can live without respect. And I can, I can live with respect also. Of course, if you ask someone, you want to be respected? Say, of course, I want to be respected. I don't want to be not be respected. But if somebody doesn't want to respect me, and I cannot force him to respect me. Can you ask somebody to respect you by force? Maybe he respect you in front of you. But after that, oh, 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 oh. this is important to understand how is the world is working. How is the world, world is working? Maybe you think somebody respecting you, but he's not respecting you. It doesn't matter. Maulana Sheikh, he teach us. When Maulana Sheikh, he raise us, he teach us to respect everybody. No discrimination in respect. He say, Maulana Sheikh, he was making the biggest test for me in respect. The biggest test I was having because I was dealing with dunya. I'm still dealing with dunya. And you know, the dunya things, nobody like to give you his money and nobody like to give money. So all the world fighting to get your money, to give his money, to take his money. So there is no friendship. When they say we talk serious, we talk money. It's serious talk. Why? Talking money. Sheikh Osman is talking money. It's very serious. What? Of course, you take my money? No, this is my money. Ego will be very angry. Maulana Sheikh, he was giving me a big test. And this, my test, it was. I was so simply giving advice for everybody. What is the advice? Say, if you want to be happy, you put the dunya in two finger, and when they Sheikh telling you leave it, you leave it, so simply. But if you put the dunya in your heart, and the Sheikh telling you leave it, and you say no, it is mine. It is mine. I cannot leave it. It's mine. Yahoo. You leave it. Sheikh ordering you to leave it. No, but you put the dunya inside deep, 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 deep of your heart and you say, no, I cannot leave it. And I was saying this simple advice for everybody asking, say, put the dunya in your two finger. One day Sheikh telling you, leave it, leave it. One day it's come to my head and I was sitting with Maulana Sheikh face to face. And my sheikh, he was telling me, leave it. And I was saying to my sheikh, no, I will not leave it. It is painful. <laughs> he said, I'm ordering you to leave it. I said, no, I cannot. I'm working for it so long. And now you are telling me, leave it like this? Say, okay, leave half of it. Say no. <laughs> okay, leave this, leave that. And we've been having discussion, discussion with Maulana Sheikh. And finally, bang, I say, wake up. I was telling to myself, how you can give advice for people and you are not following this advice. I was saying to myself, and then, what I say? I wake up. He wake me up. Maulana Sheikh, wake me up. Say, wake up. You give advice. If you give advice, you have to do this advice. You cannot give advice without doing this advice. I say, Maulana Sheikh, whatever you order, I'm leaving. Alhamdulillah. I say, I passed the test. Test. I, I passed the test. And I taste 
the advice. It's important to understand how Mawlana Sheikh, it is coming to you from point that is painful and it is real your test. What do you think? Why you are in Tariqa? Why you are in Tariqa? If you don't believe in the test of Mawlana Sheikh, why you are Sufi? If you don't believe in the test of your Murshid, why you are coming for Tariqa if you don't believe in your Sheikh test? Don't come, go for another mosque, go, go, feel free to be Muslim, feel free to be Wahhabi, feel free to be whatever you want. Because the Wahhabi, they have very good things. They are in a position that they can, they think, they can tell you everything and you don't dare to tell them anything. This Wahhabi. If you become Wahhabi, let us know. So we deal with you. If you become Salafi, also, the Salafi also say, I know the religion more than you. And he tried to teach you. And he, you cannot tell him to not do this or to do this or to do that. No. I said, no. I know better than you. You are nothing. I am something. This is how they are treating. This is very important to understand. If we are in the situation that we are accepting to be Naqshubandi, we are accepting to be Haqqani as Haqq, so we have to believe in the test of Mawlana Sheikh. Where he tests us, he, he doesn't test you in easy field. No. Don't think there is easy field by test. Yes. There is no easy field by test. It is hard test. Then you understand is a test. Now everybody, I'm telling very openly, including me, including my brother, Sheikh Mehmet, he is our head, even himself, he is in test. We are all of us in testing area. Now we are in very heavy testing area because you have responsibility, you have to fulfill. You have another thing, you have to fulfill. You have people to look after, you have to fulfill. You have question coming over, you have to fulfill. You have so many things, you have to fulfill. It is the testing place for everybody, not only for Murids, only the responsible one, they are more heavier tests. We are asking that Allah Almighty to help us to go on on this test. Because when we are passing this test, that means Allah Almighty he is happy with us. Our Sheikh is happy with us. And at least our Sheikh will tell us, yes, I'm proud of you. At least I teach you something. I teach you something and you are not like Tefal brain. Doesn't stick anything there. <laughs> I teach you that the tef Teflon, huh? Teflon. Uh, it is, your brain is not like Teflon. I teach you, I teach you, but you didn't have anything. All gone. And at least he says some small part left there. And Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabbi, my murid, they made it. <laughs> my murid, they made it. Wurya! <laughs> my murid, they made it. This is important. This is dunya, it is passing. The other side, it's remaining. I have to warn. I am the warner. Maybe some people, they don't like me as a wazir, but okay, I am the warner. <laughs> doesn't matter, whatever, doesn't matter. I'm okay, I'm easy going. I don't have any problem. Alhamdulillah, I am in Maulana Sheikh footprint, inshallah, trying to follow his footprint, trying to show his footprint, for me and then for the murid that they are coming to Maulana Sheikh with love of Maulana Sheikh because Maulana Sheikh he only distribute love. This is Maulana Sheikh. Maulana Sheikh he only distribute love. He doesn't 
say you give me give me give me give me no he is the distributor and maulana sheikh he distribute the love never distribute the hatred never distribute the drama never distribute the hey no because no maulana sheikh never like this he is the happiness distributor you can feel his happiness is all the time there alhamdulillah in my heart I am feeling the happiness of Maulana Sheh. So that's why I can be positive all the time. Alhamdulillah. Because I understand how to observe and get the energy of Maulana Sheh. That the beautiful energy and beautiful tajalli manifestation from Maulana Sheh. So that's why I am easily can give. No problem. This is Maulana Sheh. This is how Maulana Sheh, how he is great, how he is big and how he is generous. And how he is wonderful and how he is magnificent. We are looking for magnificent. We are not looking for dunya things. It is this so many uh, disgusting things going around. Oh, we are not we are not caring about what's happening. We don't care. It is not for us, it's for you. <laughs> it is not for us. <laughs> we are looking for the beauty of Maulana Sheikh. We are looking for the love of Maulana Sheikh. We are looking for that manifestation. We don't look for dunya things. Dunya things, we have a lot. Alhamdulillah, we don't need. Wa min Allahi tawfiq bi hurmat al Habib bi hurmat al Fatiha. Subhanum Allah, Sultanum Allah, Nabi Muhammad, Alayhi Salam. سبحان الله سلطان الله نبي محمد عليه السلام وصل يا ربي وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى كل أجمعين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة